Hi, my name is David, and welcome to Coding is for Losers. And more specifically, welcome to the template vault on Trello, where we store all of the Google Sheets templates that we've built to automate your work, all of the Google Sheets tutorials that teach you uh, how to build templates for yourself, how to learn Google Sheets formulas, um, how to learn Google Data Studio, and how to build dashboards in that, um, and also, uh, discounts on all the courses that we've built at Coding is for Losers. So I, I want to walk you through kind of how this board is structured, where you can find different pieces, because I know that there's a lot of information in here. Don't want you to be overwhelmed. Um, and kind of what, what you can pick out that's relevant for your work. So let's dive into the Trello board here, and I'll walk you through kind of how you can navigate this and which templates and tutorials are relevant for you based on, on the work that you do. So first off, you'll notice in this first list here, the start here list, this second card of suggesting a Sheets template, if you ever run into something in your work that you can't find a template here to solve or you can't figure out how to do it, just leave a comment in here and either myself or other people in the Coding is for Losers community will get back to you about whether they've done that before or whether that could be built. So these first three lists, templates, project management, templates, web analytics, and templates, content strategy, um, these are all of the Google Sheets templates that are on Coding is for Losers at the moment. Um, and they're, they're bucketed by kind of function. So project management, if you'll notice, these, this has Data Studio templates, this has a KPI dashboard, a pipeline visualization, uh, editorial calendar automation. So this is all about managing the pulse of your project. So if you're looking to build like data studio reporting for one of these these types of tools or build a dashboard, that's your kind of that's your target. So this is for managing projects. Web analytics templates are a little bit different. Most of these templates, so keyword cannibalization, anomaly detection, funnel analytics, search efficiency, content audit, uh, these are all aimed at improving one specific aspect of your SEO or web performance. So keyword cannibalization finds overlap, search performance, anomaly detection finds spikes or dips in your search performance. So they all do one specific thing. And in each of these cards, if you click on them, there's a little description on what it actually does and then links to copy the templates. So all of the information that you'll need are in these descriptions. So let's, let's look at another one. So funnel analytics, for example. Uh, not too much of a description there, but here's your link to make, the co make a copy of the template. These attachments are just for me to keep track of the kind of masters. Um, you can actually, you can, you can click on this and make a copy, but you can't actually edit it or access it. So to use these, you'll have to make a copy here. But I highly recommend, if you're curious about one of these templates, just click in and there will be a little description here. Um, if there's a blog post specifically on it, there will be a link. Um, and if you click into many of these templates, let's see, that's the wrong, wrong link here. But if you click into many of these templates, there will also be video descriptions walking you through um, how to get started with them, and also more detailed step-by-step -step instructions whenever this, uh, whenever this loads up. So each of the templates has really detailed setup steps to, to go through these. So steps one, exact steps like one through five on, on how to get set up with the template and a walkthrough video at the top. So don't be, if you're looking through the board and you're not sure oh, how does this work? How do I do this? Just make a copy, look through the Getting Started tab, look through the more detailed description, and see, like, does this accomplish what I need to accomplish? So that's, that's the web analytics templates. Um, so if you're doing SEO or running a website, you'll, you'll want to use those. And the last are content strategy. This helps um, give you ideas on what content to be producing. So the two main ones are social listening and skyscraper technique, um, which allows you to rank for keywords that uh, your competitors are ranking for. I would say that 
of the templates, obviously content strategy is probably the least developed of the set. Um, we've mainly focused on project management and kind of dashboarding and like and web analytics. So those are all the templates on coding is for losers. And the last section of the board to really dig into is if you're interested in learning Google Sheets. Um, if you want to go, I've published tons of tutorials on the blog. If you've seen many of the blog posts, that's probably how you got here. Um, but they're in, the first thing is there's discounts here between 15 and 25% off each of the courses that we've published at Coding is for Losers. So Data Analysis the Lazy Way is kind of the flagship course. It covers all of the topics that these three courses cover, but in kind of a broad strokes way. The Google Sheets query um, is a deep dive on the Google Sheets query function, which is one of my favorites. The Lazy Tool Belt covers Blockspring and Supermetrics. And then Data Studio covers Google's free dashboarding tool, Google Data Studio. So those are the courses if you want to pay for a really deep dive that has exercises and quizzes and um, more in-depth tutorials. But if you're just looking for basic free tutorials, this Google Sheets and Data Studio tutorials list has all of the um, tutorials that are free that you can get started with. So Data Studio, Sheets Formulas, SQL, VLOOKUP, and Query. Um, and these are all YouTube videos and maybe little short exercises that you can pick up. This last list, Sheets Formulas, thank you some, whoever added this heart here, thank you for adding this. Um, this has specific Sheets Formulas that if you're doing SEO or if you're working with web analytics data can be really handy. And so each one has a title that describes what it does. So extract page path from URL. Um, this, this formula and output here tells you how to, how to use that. So feel free to copy these. This is kind of a list that I go back to anytime I'm building a new Sheets template. So that's really, let me zoom out a little bit here. That's really the, um, the board. So feel free to suggest a template if you have a need that isn't here. Browse through these kind of based on your, your work. Um, and like I said, you can click into any of them. There's links to copy them. There's links to blog posts. There's more in-depth descriptions on what they do. So just browse around and feel free to copy, copy any of these. Um, and yeah, if, you're, if you get stuck at any point with using Google Sheets, there's tons of tutorials, formulas, and obviously the courses here to help you along. So hope you enjoy it. Um, you can always feel free to reach out to me directly. I'm at commissioner at Coding is for Losers. Take care.